Welcome Mighty Tech users to another exciting deep dive into the world of technology. Today, we're exploring something that's been called the backbone of cryptocurrencies, a revolution in record keeping, and even the future of the internet, blockchain. So, what exactly is blockchain? How does it work? Is it only about Bitcoin, or is there more to it? From its core concept and history to how it works, where it's used, and what its pros and cons are, we are covering it all in today's video. First of all, what is blockchain? Blockchain is essentially a digital ledger, a record book. But instead of being stored in one central location, it's shared across thousands of computers worldwide. Whenever a transaction or event happens, like sending cryptocurrency, it's recorded in a block. Each block is locked using cryptography and linked to the block before it, creating a chain. This makes it incredibly hard to alter past records. Let's have a quick look at the history of blockchain. The concept of blockchain first appeared in 2008 as the underlying technology behind Bitcoin, introduced by an unknown person or group using the name Satoshi Nakamoto. The goal was simple but powerful to create a financial system where people could send money to each other directly without a bank or middleman in a way that was secure and transparent. Since then, blockchain has evolved beyond cryptocurrency and is now being used in industries from supply chain to healthcare. So, why do we actually need blockchain? In the traditional world, we rely on trusted intermediaries like banks, governments or corporations to store and verify information. But this comes with downsides, higher costs, slower processing and the risk of corruption or hacking. Blockchain solves this by letting everyone in the network hold the same copy of the ledger. Changes are verified by consensus, not by one authority. This means no single entity can manipulate the records without everyone noticing. Let's understand the architecture of blockchain. A blockchain network consists of nodes, computers that store and share a copy of the entire ledger. Transactions are grouped together in a block. Each block contains data about the transaction, a cryptographic hash which is a unique digital fingerprint of the block, the hash of the previous block, linking it securely in the chain. This structure makes it nearly impossible to change one block without altering all the ones after it, which would require enormous computing power. So, how does blockchain actually work? Here's the process. A transaction is requested. For example, Alice sends Bob one Bitcoin. The transaction is broadcast to the network of nodes. These nodes use algorithms to verify that the transaction is valid. Once verified, the transaction is bundled with others into a block. The block is added to the existing chain in a permanent, unchangeable way. Now, anyone in the network can see this transaction and trust that it's authentic. Let's see some real-world uses of blockchain. While Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are the most famous examples, blockchain's users go far beyond finance. Blockchain can be used for supply chain tracking to verify product origins. It enables digital identity management to give individuals control over personal data. It supports voting systems for secure and transparent elections. It powers smart contracts that self-execute using code. It allows NFTs to prove ownership of digital art and media. Now, let's discuss the benefits of blockchain. Blockchain offers transparency so everyone can see the same record. It provides security through cryptographic protection and decentralization, making tampering extremely difficult. It ensures decentralization with no single point of failure. It delivers efficiency in certain cases by enabling faster and cheaper cross-border transactions compared to traditional methods. There are also some disadvantages of blockchain. Blockchain faces scalability issues because processing large numbers of transactions can be slow. It has high energy consumption, especially in proof-of-work systems like Bitcoin. It can be complex, making it difficult for non-technical users to understand or implement. It may have partial decentralization in practice, as many networks still rely on a small number of large players. So, what's the future of blockchain? Blockchain is still in its early stages, much like the internet in the 1990s. We're already seeing advancements like proof-of-stake to reduce energy use, interoperability between different blockchains, and adoption in everyday apps. It may not replace all traditional systems, but it's likely to become an invisible part of how transactions and data are handled worldwide. So, the next time you hear about cryptocurrency, NFTs, or secure voting systems, remember, 
Blockchain is the technology quietly making it possible. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into tech topics. Drop a comment below. What's the most surprising thing you learned about blockchain today? Thanks for watching and stay mighty tech users.